Ever pour chips into a bowl and somehow the bag's gone before you blink? Those sneaky little calories just vanish into thin air, right? OneDrive on your Mac works the same way, hidden, it in your storage. You install it for just a few files and suddenly your 512GB MacBook is crying for space. Today, I'm going to show you how to uninstall OneDrive to make your Mac feel light and crispy again. And hey, before we dive in, hit that like button and subscribe for more Mac tips that actually work. Now, the first thing most people try is dragging OneDrive to the trash. Seems like it should do the trick, right? The truth is, it's only half the job. Hidden files stay behind, background processes keep running, and login items can restart the app automatically. So how do we really get rid of it? Let's start with the easiest way. I think you'd be surprised at how effortlessly this can be done with Clean My Mac. Its powerful uninstaller tool removes unwanted apps along with all their hidden files and leftovers. Just a few clicks and OneDrive will be completely gone from your Mac. No clutter, no fuss. And the best part, you can try it completely free for seven days. Check out the link in the description to get started. But maybe you prefer full control. If that's you, here's the manual method to completely uninstall OneDrive on your Mac. Open Finder, go to Applications, locate the OneDrive app, right-click and choose Move to Trash. Now, let's hunt down the leftovers. OneDrive-related files are located in your system library folder. To access and remove them, open Finder and press the Command-Shift-G on your keyboard. Here, you're going to need to enter these paths one by one. Tilda slash library slash application support slash tilde slash library slash cache slash tilde slash library slash containers slash tilde slash library slash cookies slash tilde slash library slash launch agent slash tilde slash library slash preferences slash tilde slash library slash log slash and tilde slash library slash cloud storage slash onedrive dash personal. Search each of these file locations for folders and files with OneDrive in the name, and then remove all of them to your trash. When you're done, empty your trash to complete the removal process. Just be careful, delete only OneDrive files because removing the wrong system files here could cause issues with macOS. So yes, you can do it all manually, but it's time consuming and a little risky. That's why I recommend the safer, faster way, the dedicated uninstaller and Clean My Mac. You'll find a link in the description and it's not just for removing apps. Clean My Mac also clears out sensitive junk, finds duplicates and similar files, cleans up cloud storage and a lot more. Give it a try for free for seven days and see how it works for you. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more Mac tips that make your life easier. And hey, maybe go easy on the chips today.